Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these lovely easy keto waffles. There's only four ingredients in them and I've written a blog post which I'll leave below which will have the full recipe and step-by-step -step instructions for you to follow along and be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos and comment too and let me just talk you through the ingredients and we'll get cooking. So we've got eggs, I'm using coconut milk, but you can feel free to use cream, almond milk, or your milk or cream of choice. I'm using salt and coconut flour to bring it all together. Okay, I've cracked four eggs into a bowl. I've added a pinch of salt. I've got my waffle maker heating up behind there. We'll just start off by giving the eggs a bit of a whisk, just to get them nice and smooth. And then we will add in, quite simply, the coconut flour, a quarter of a cup there, and a quarter of a cup of coconut milk or cream or milk. And we'll just whisk together to make a waffle batter. There you go, I'm happy with that. We've got a nice smooth batter. And now we'll just pop it into the waffle maker once it's nice and preheated. Okay, now just pop the waffle batter in to the waffle maker. I've got a little eighth of a cup here. I think it, I'm going to use two of those, so or just under. So about a quarter of a cup or more. You don't want to kind of overfill the waffle maker. You don't want those little holes on the top either, so just fill it until it's just right for your waffle maker. There you go, that's perfect. We'll pop the lid on and we'll see how they look in a few minutes. I like to check on them. They're almost there. A couple more minutes and we'll have waffles. And there you go, I've got a perfect pair of waffles and I've popped another batch into the waffle maker just behind over there so they can cook. While I top these ones, I've got a little bowl full of raspberries here, quite happy just having a handful of raspberries to kind of enjoy with them. You could also top them with a bit of whipped cream, totally up to you, but that just makes the perfect breakfast for me. So that is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos and comment to let me know if you try these waffles and what you think. And remember to check down below for the link to the blog post, which will have the full recipe and step-by-step -step instructions. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.